Hi, this is Justin from Ajara Productions. In this video, I want to show you some of the new features that are coming in N5 version 3.3. I'm working on adding additional e-learning capabilities to N5. That means sophisticated support for custom checkboxes and radio buttons. Here's a page that I've created in InDesign, and you can see if I have something that's actually a checkbox, you can see it actually has six total states. It has normal rollover and click, but for each of those, it has a variant for whether the box is checked or not. Now, in previous versions of N5, it did export the checkboxes as HTML checkboxes, but that's all it did. See, these are checkboxes. Here's how the output looks in version 3.3. The checkbox has all six states. And you can make it look like anything. Anything that toggles could be a checkbox. I've also added support for the clear form action. Go back to InDesign, you can see the action is just added here via the plus sign. Now you can see there are headings in here for Swift and EPUB only and PDF only. And over time, N5 is one of the only formats to support nearly all of these now. On the next page, I have a set of different kinds of radio buttons. So the first set is pretty straightforward, and the other ones show different types of buttons where only one can be selected. Let's take a look at the output in version 3.3. So you have the regular radio buttons. Now I click one, it deselects the others. You could also make this into tabbed headings or some kind of rating system. Let's go a step further and actually submit an answer and get a response based on that. So if I hover over one of these, I select B and say check answer. Yep, B is your favorite answer. Now I can print this form just by clicking on this. And there's my printed page. And back in the InDesign document, I'll show you how I built this form. So I have a multi-state object. You can see in the object states panel, there are four different states. There's one for the question itself, and there are responses for A, B, and C. Now if I go back to the question and dig into one of the answers, you can see that it has a button value of B in the check answer button here, I have a submit form action. And because this is part of a multi-state object, when I submit this form, N5 checks the value of whatever button and then matches it to the object state. So if I click C, it would take me to C, B to B, and A to A. So those are a couple of things coming out in N5 version 3.3 that'll help you with your e-learning and instructional projects that you're building in InDesign. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please hit the subscribe button to see more like this.